I've said it before, I've said it again. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Welcome back to CLI Friendly. Uh, I guess that means I do have to be nice because there's friendly in the title. Oh well. Well, now that you guys know how to navigate, this time we're going to delve into some movie magic. <laughs> Think of those old Frankenstein movies. We're delving into some black arts here. Now that we know how to navigate, now it's time to manipulate. That's right. We are going to contort and twist this command line and make it do our bidding. And we're even going to do some stuff that you can't do in your graphical file manager as easily. So we're going to do a few little shortcuts. Now, um, during this series, you may notice Dirty Helga popping up, giving you a few tips every now and then. Uh, sometimes I'll forget to say something in the video, and uh, Dirty Helga will drop in and give one of her uh, dirty little secrets. So keep an eye out for Dirty Helga on the screen. Uh, she's got some good tips that's going to be uh, mixed in with this as well. Okay, so... Uh, picking up where we left off last time, let's go ahead and log in. Okay, and here we are. Now, uh, some of you mentioned that you can clear the stream with Control L. Uh, I didn't do that because I want you guys to be able to see what it is that I'm doing on the screen. But yes, Control L will clear the contents of the screen. But in case, you know, some of you get lost or whatnot, you can scroll back and see what I've done. You know, you can move that playhead. So I want you to physically see the things that I'm typing into the command line. And Control L, well, doesn't write anything on the screen. But Control l can be used to also uh, clear the screen if that's what you want. Okay, so um, first, let's um, navigate to Documents. Because that's where I've got some stuff. Uh, prepare for today's exercise. And let's uh, go ahead and list all of the contents in long form. Okay, you're going to see that we have a number of directories here, and uh, we have a bunch of different files as well, okay? Now, uh, let's see what I did here. Okay, um, I made a mistake, but that's okay. I can fix that little mistake. Uh, <laughs> Uh, gotta love it. Sometimes I do things a little absent-mindedly. Okay, why don't we change directory to mods, because there is something that... Um, I didn't mention in the last episode. Okay. Case matters. All right. And uh, as you'll see here, I have two directories, and one starts with um, a lowercase uh, m, and one starts with an uppercase m. This is a common problem that you'll have uh, if, um, let's say, uh, you like running your Windows games in Linux and you want to use mods that you download from a website. Well, because the Windows file system doesn't check for upper and lower case, uh, you can just unzip any old mod and throw them in your mod directory and uh, the game will find them. But on a Linux system using Wine, um, if you just extract the contents, you may find yourself having two mods folders because one may have uppercase letters and one may have lowercase letters. And so then your game isn't able to find those modifications and that sort of thing. So then you have to go through and find all these folders and make sure you have one of each folder and that sort of thing so the game can find them. I just figured I'd uh, throw that one out there. Uh, let's go ahead and navigate up one directory using cd dot dot that I discussed in the last episode, and let's uh, list in long form. Okay. All right. Let's say that we want to move all of our pictures, um, all of our JPEGs that we have listed here, into 
um, the Pix folder. Okay, using a graphical um, GUI, you would either have to press Control and then click each individual image that you want to move and then drag and drop. That takes a long time to do that. When you could actually just uh, use the MV or move command, MV, and then uh, using a wildcard, star, star is probably the most common wild card that you see. And for those of you who uh, remember the good old DOS days, you use that all the time. So we move star.jpg to PIX. Okay. And then when we list TAC L, all right, you're going to notice that all of those pictures have been moved now pretty neat stuff. So in less time than it would have taken to, you know, manually select each one and drag and drop with a simple command and a wild card, we were able to move all of those uh, images uh, to a, a specific folder. Okay. Um, now um, let's go ahead and change directory to uh, Pix. Okay. And then list all right, now, um, let's say we want to uh, copy all of these images uh, back, to the, but we want to keep a copy of them in our uh, main directory. Then we can use cp for that. We can use cp star dot jpg. And then um, if we want to just go one directory up where we originally had them, we can just press dot dot there. Okay, press enter. And then we will change directory, space, dot, dot. Okay, and then a list, tack L for the long form. And you're going to see all those images are in there, and you also have a copy of them in the PIX folder as well. Pretty neat stuff. So we've, co we've covered copy, and we've covered move. This is very important. Read the manual on these. CP. Oh. Man, CP, okay? So you have a manual on all the little switches that you can use with the copy command, okay? And this is very important um, because um, these little command line switches that you have here extend the functionality of the copy. And there's a number of things here. Press Q to quit. And then man, move. I'm a sloppy typer today. That's what I get for not drinking any coffee this morning. Okay, and so you can see there are a number of commands that you have here. Make sure that you read the documentation. Use the manual. It is your friend. Read the manual, and learn the command line switches on all of these different commands that I showed you here because it is going to be to your benefit. I can't stress that enough. You got to RTFM, read the full manual, okay? All right, so um, let's go ahead and make a directory. That is MKDIR. All right, and then let's um, PICS2. Okay, so now we've got a folder, make directory picks two. Now, why don't we move all of the images or all the JPEGs into the picks two folder? That's easy. We'll just MV. And um, you could use a command line switch with this. Um, so let's say you wanted to uh, move all of the images and, but well, we know this directory is empty, but let's say there were images that were already in that directory using the I switch. It would only move items if, um, it would, it would only move the items. Uh, it's an interactive thing. It would prompt before overriding. We're not going to do that in this one. So we're going to move uh, star dot JPG to a PIX2. Okay, so now when we list tech L, 
Okay, you're going to see that we have all of these files here and uh, our images have been moved. Okay, why don't we uh, do something else that's fun? Let's use another wild card, the question mark. Okay, and uh, the question mark um, would be for any single character. This one isn't used quite as commonly, um, but we could move question mark question mark question mark dot conf to uh, picks and then go uh, ls tac l All right, and we're going to see that one of those files has moved, and that is the gai.conf file. And we know this because when we go into pics, okay, you can see that the gai.conf file is in our pics folder. Okay, let's change directory and go up. All right, now, um, another command that we have that we can learn, and I think Dirty Helga is showing you now uh, some of the other, uh, some of the other uh, wild cards that you can use that I'm not going to be covering in today's episode. Let me pull up my notes here. All right, the next one is a very powerful command, and this is something you need to be careful with. And that command is to remove. Okay, that's RM. Let's pull up a manual on that, because this is important. I've seen some websites where you would see the command RM-RF forward slash. Do not put that in your terminal or else you're going to bork your computer. <laughs> You'd be amazed. People do that. People will follow those instructions and yeah, you don't want to do that because basically the F switch is a force command. Okay. And then the R switch is recursive. All right, and the uh, recursive command means that it will uh, delete, delete uh, directories and their contents, whereas the D switch would delete a directory, but only if it's empty, okay, as you can see here uh, in this uh, help file here. So it's very important to read these, all right? So the RM command by itself, if I say uh, remove picks, it's going to say cannot remove that directory. Here, I'll show you. All right, so um, let's uh, list in the long form, because I love listing in the long form. Um, I like how this uh, lays things out and that sort of thing. So let's say I want to uh, remove picks. RM, P-I-C-S. Oops. All right, it's saying cannot remove picks. It is a directory. All right, then let's uh, rm-d picks. It can't remove that because the directory is not empty. All right, well, then we could do rm tech rf picks. All right, and now that directory has been removed because we used a recursive switch and an F switch to force it. Now, obviously, um, we didn't have to force it. Just the R switch would have been fine. But uh, there are times when you will use the um, F or the force switch in order to, you know, force the deletion of files. Okay, um, so... Let me see. We've got a copy, move, uh, make directory, and uh, remove. But um, so we know how to make a directory, but we don't know how to make a blank or empty false. So um, I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's go ahead and do a touch. And 
and um, file.conf. Helps if I learn to type today. Okay, and then we can uh, edit that with nano. Okay, nano file dot conf. All right, and then um, I put a nice little message in here: uh, Control X to exit, Y to save it, and then enter. And then it's done. And then uh, ls tac l. All right, file.conf is here. Um, we can uh, do file, file.conf. Okay, it's basically saying that it is uh, ASCII text. So let's uh, do less on it. Less is more, more is less, remember? Okay, and uh, there it is. <laughs> Hello world. That's all there is that's in it. And then um, just cue to end that. Okay, so I think I've covered up pretty much uh, everything that I wanted to uh, discuss in today's episode. Uh, in the next episode, I am going to cover symlinks and hard links too, I think. Um, symlinks are a very powerful tool uh, for... Um, you know, linking things or passing the buck, as I uh, said in the uh, last episode. So uh, that's one you'll definitely uh, want to uh, watch. Uh, I'm going to show you how to move all your play on Linux uh, directories to a different partition and still be able to use them. It's really powerful stuff, some of the things you can do with that. All right, if you find these uh, videos to be useful to you, please consider visiting me at cupoflinux.com. If you click the link in the description, it will take you to where all of the show notes and references materials are uh, in uh, in here for the show and uh, there's some additional reference materials uh, that I uh, put in there it's better that I just have everything in one place so I don't have to remember to type this in for each and every single episode that I'm putting together um, in this uh, command line series so it's to your benefit to visit us a cup of linux.com and while you're there please consider pressing the donate button that helps us keep the lights on at cupoflinux.com and distrohunt.org um every night of the week between 8 and 10 p.m new york time i'm hanging out on the mumble server and uh, mr gizmo's been kind enough to hang out with us and we've had a few other people hopping in so if you want to come in and discuss your passion of linux between 8 and 10 new york time uh, just about every night of the week uh, we're there on the mumble server with the exception of saturday that is game night and uh we're going to be doing star conflict and Super Tux Cart. If we get enough people in there, I'll give away some prizes. Um, if, if it's still... For some reason, everybody's disappeared in the uh, Linux community, and we're not sure why. Uh, that's something I'm noticing uh, around here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of weird. So, there's a lot of activities happening on couplelinux.com, so be sure to come on and check out things out. We've got a lot of good things for you guys. All right, so that's all I have for today's episode. Until next time, please be sure to take a little bit of your time and be excellent with somebody today and always, because the greatest gift that you can give is the gift of your time. Peace out. Mm -hmm.